where the function f of x is negative x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 6. We're going to do everything, but notice this time we don't have a graph. So we're going to have to do everything by hand. To fill in the chart, we need to factor this thing first. Uh, I don't have any room. I'm going to do it down here. So sorry. Remember, the first rule of factoring is to pull out a greatest common factor. Don't say three. Pull out more than that. It's best if your leading coefficient um, is positive one. So let's pull out a negative three. Doing so leaves us with x cubed minus 2x squared minus 1, x plus 2. Now we're going to do what's called factoring by grouping. So we group two by twos. I'm going to put this in big brackets here. So we're going to group the first two. Eh, and we're going to group the last two. Eh, make sure in between there's a plus sign. Because the third term was negative 1x, I had to keep the negative with the x. Now in the first group, there's a new greatest common factor. And that new greatest common factor is x squared. Pulling that out, we would be left with x minus 2. In the second group, we can pull out a minus 1. And we'd be left with x minus 2. So we had that negative 3 that we pulled out previously. And then they both have an x minus 2. And then if you pull that out, you'd be left with x squared minus 1. To finish this off, x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. x plus 1, x minus 1. Again, if that's tough, please watch intermediate algebra videos. So looking at that factored form of the function, what numbers would cause that function to equal 0, 2, negative 1, positive 1? Looking at the factored form of the function, notice all of the exponents on the factors are 1. Since our multiplicities are odd, this will cross. So we have cross, 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 triple cross. Uh, remember, if you add up the multiplicities, you should always get the degree. So we do add up to 3, that number there. Speaking of the degree, since the degree is odd, that means the arrowheads will point in opposite directions. And since the leading coefficient is negative, that means we would end up uh, somewhere, we'll start in quadrant 2 and end up somewhere in quadrant 4. So the, the degree 3 says opposite directions, and the negative leading coefficient causes the graph to flip. So when we go to graph this thing, we have an arrowhead somewhere up here. We have an arrowhead somewhere down here. We have a um, root at 2, a negative 1, and positive 1. Starting at the left arrowhead, when I approach negative 1, I need to cross. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to draw. And then when I approach positive 1, I need to cross. And when I approach 2, I need to cross again. And notice that puts me back at the other arrowhead. <laughs> oh, oh geez. Oh my gosh. I don't... I wish there was a, a smoothing function. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Oh, I made it worse. I made it. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry you had a lump of oh, You know what? Third time's a charm. Okay. I look at all the smaller details. Okay. okay. Let's look at all the sad face. Uh, all right. All right. I need you to clap. I need you to believe in me. All right. The problem is we don't always see the cursor. I, I don't like how I don't like how low I made that. I want to I want to make that bounce up some more. 
Here to go to three. Okay, and now down. Uh, it's so much easier on the board. Okay, that's 1% better. Sorry that you waited for all that. 